Hey everyone, I'm going to guide you through a quick and easy process of how to add an S2 Z-Wave Plus device to Samsung SmartThings. Now, if you guys don't know, um, they added this security fix, um, kind of like a two-way binding or a QR code or uh, multi-factor authentication. You know, when you log into a website, it will ask for, you know, your phone to text you. It's kind of just another layer of protection because a lot of these Z-Wave Plus devices were getting hacked. Um, so pretty cool how GE Jasco um, does it, and uh, I'll walk you through how to add that to SmartThings. So here I have a nice new GE Jasco Z-Wave dimmer with S2 Z-Wave Plus, um, so sort of the S2 uh, Smart. Now when you add it to smart things it will ask for a qr code which is over my finger only i'm only covering it because i don't even know if it's i haven't looked into the protocol knowing that like if i put it on this video is it something that you know can be used as the second factor authentication um, the other spot if you don't have the box for it um, if you take off the plate and you just see the metal around the switch or dimmer you'll see a little qr code in the bottom right and here's how you add that to SmartThings. Okay, here I am on my phone. I'm gonna go over to SmartThings. I'm in the basement area. I'm gonna add device, click scan, and I'm gonna single click the off button on the dimmer or the on button, but it's important that you single click. Every device is different how you pair it. Once it finds it, there's a secure setup button and you're going to pick your hub and your room. Then you're going to use a camera to take a photo of the QR code or you can manually enter the pin. I chose to take a photo and here I am just cropping it out. It took pretty long at the verifying code entry. So I decided to just force quit the app and go back in. So I found the device and of course, because it's cloud, we're getting network connection issues. So after force quitting again, I get the device dimmer on off and I turn it on and with the dimmer, I'm gonna set it to about 50, 50 ish percent. It's working well. So there you have it, pretty easy to do. Um, other than using the Samsung SmartThings app, which takes forever to load because it's all cloud-based. And I know a lot of my friends and family have been moving to um, that new hub that is all local. Uh, forget the name of it, um, but yeah, very exciting. Probably move to that one next. Um, and yeah. Pretty awesome secure technology with the QR code and an extra layer of protection. Why not? Thanks.